What is preventing us from serving God wholeheartedly? A blessed Wednesday to all. This is our reflection for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Mother Teresa felt the call from God to help the poor of India. All she had was some basic medical training and then set out to help the sick and needy. This wasn't an easy task in 1948 India. She had very little support and while trying to feed and help the poorest of the poor, she herself was constantly hungry and even had to beg for food. But in 1950, Mother Teresa formed a group within the Catholic Church called the Missionaries of Charity. She described its purpose as an organization that would take care of the hungry, the naked, the homeless, the crippled, the blind, the lepers, all those people who feel unwanted, unloved, uncared for throughout society. People that have become a burden to the society and are shunned by everyone. Mother Teresa had very lofty goals, considering that she herself was starving just a few years earlier. When she first started the Missionaries of Charity, there were only 13 members. Today, the group has over 4,000 members who care for people all over the world. She worked almost up until her death on September 5, 1997. The entire chapter 4 of the Gospel of Luke overflows with the gracious announcement of the arrival of God's kingdom here on earth. We see Jesus overcoming the temptation of the evil one. We hear the Lord announcing that the Spirit of God is upon him, having been anointed to proclaim the good news to the poor. The graciousness of God's kingdom flows into today's Gospel reading as Peter and the others intercede with Jesus for his sick mother-in-law who received his healing and after which she threw herself in the service of Jesus and the disciples. When Sabbath ended, people came to Jesus for healing while demons were driven out from many. This spirit shouted, You are the Son of God, using his title, hoping to exert control over him with the mistaken notion that through pride, Jesus will be influenced by them. That did not work, of course, and the presence of the kingdom is clearly felt. Health and healing are not just for the individual. The desire for wholeness applies to the entire community. The healing of Peter's mother-in-law restored her to the community and to the duty of serving that community. Not just because she was a woman, but because this would apply to anyone. The healing of those who came to Jesus right after the end of the Sabbath would have restored all of them back into the service of one another. This meant that for as long as we are in health, our energy should be directed to the building up of the community and not just for our personal enjoyment. The intercession made by Peter is an excellent example of entrusting every concern we have to Jesus. The principle of intercession is to tell God the same things that He tells us to tell Him as the means of releasing His power. St. Paul teaches us in Romans chapter 8, verse 26 that now in the same way the Spirit also helps our weakness. For we do not know what to pray for as we should, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Thus, not only can we pray in our own words, but He also tells us what to pray through His Word in the Bible and through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Intercession is God's brilliant strategy 
for including the saints in ruling with Him in power. Its mystery is in its weakness, simplicity, humility, and accessibility to all. Christ brought the kingdom of God wherever He went. The joy and healing that the inhabitants of Capernaum experienced was merely a taste of the new heaven and new earth that all believers will enjoy for eternity. Every disease and infirmity will be healed. All evil will be destroyed. This is why we pray, Your kingdom come. And whenever Jesus answers that prayer with redemption and healing, our response is faith and service. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, you demonstrated your power to heal on earth, and you still heal in miraculous ways today. I come before you asking that you heal me in every area of my life. This I ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless couples for Christ and our Catholic faith.